All right, guys, a uh, quick tabletop review here for you. Let me adjust my camera back a little bit. Okay, what I have here is a couple knives, and behind me is a handgun. This is the Jimenez JA9. If you haven't seen my review on this, please check it out. You're going to be surprised. A lot of people made fun of me when I went out and I purchased this. But I tell you what, it shoots better than a high point. I haven't had any malfunctions whatsoever yet with that little Jimenez Arms J9. Anyway, let's move that out of the way. All right, here. So I got here three knives that I want to talk about. The first one you're, you're all, you guys are all familiar with. This is the Spyderco Delica 4. Now, I've been carrying this for about four or five months. Haven't had any issues with it. I'm going to go through the specs really, really quick. The reason I'm doing that is because you guys are all familiar with it. But after that, I'm going to talk a little bit about, about Spyderco and I'm going to tell you why. I only own two Spyderco knives. That's it, two of them. Okay, so here we go Spyderco Delica. The overall length of this is 7 and 1 8, 1 8 inch. The closed length is going to be 4 and 1 4 inch. Okay, that little hole diameter is going to be a half an inch across. Blade length along is 2 and 7 8 inches. Now, the good thing about Spider Coat knives, well, a lot of them anyway. Is they come with the VG10 steel, which is a Japanese steel. That's pretty high quality steel. Anything that comes out of Japan, for the most part, is pretty good steel. So that's VG10. The weight is 2.5 ounces. And the, uh, the handle is fiberglass reinforced nylon. It's got a lockback style here. It opens and closes fairly quick. Okay, lockback style, you have a reversible belt clip. And it's pretty good. I mean, it's a, it's a nice little compact knife you can carry around. MSRP on this one is $94.95. You can find it on the Spyderco website. So those are the quick specs of that one. Let's put this one down. And, and uh, before I stop talking about Spyderco, here's just a comparison. You guys know what this is, right? Tenacious, Spyderco Tenacious. Comparison here. See the size difference. All right. Let's put that down. All right, next knife here that I want to talk about. It's going to be a Kershaw Skyline. Kershaw Skyline. This is a pretty good uh, EDC knife as well. You got a plain edge. The total weight of this is 2.5 ounces. Overall length is 7.3 inches. Close length is 4.3 inches. As you can see, it's got a, a uh, liner lock here. Also the flipper style. Flip it open like so. Close that again. Give you guys a good look at it closed. And give you a good look at the liner lock. Now the, uh, the type of steel has got Sandvik 14 Charlie 28 November, which is basically the same as the uh, Chinese steel that's found in some of the spider codes. Okay, so similar to that steel, not the same. This one's a little bit better. Okay, this is a tip up. You can wear it uh, tip up, down, or right handed. Look at the pocket clip right here. It is not reversible or correction. It is reversible. You can put it right here and you got the holes right here towards the back. So you can go ahead and switch that out. Okay, you can see the Kershaw emblem here on the blade, as well as dual thumb studs, which really don't work so well with this one, but it's not bad. The handle material is G10, which is pretty good. I really like G10. I'm a big fan of G10. Give you a good look at this liner lock here. 
Now this blade right here is very, very sharp. I would even go as far as saying that it's sharper than that Spyderco Delica 4. I know a lot of people may disagree with me, but I've done a lot of tests on both of these knives and this little knife is much, much cheaper and it's also much, much sharper. So, I mean, I was a little bit surprised when I did some testing on it. But this one goes for MSRP is about $41. Let's see how it does when you uh, cut a little piece of paper here. Let's see here. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, just razor sharp. I haven't even sharpened this one single time. It just goes through it. Up, oh, got a bad piece right there, but it goes through it like butter. Okay. All right, let's give the uh, the little Spider Code Delica Four here the same challenge. And uh, one thing I didn't mention, it's got those triple point serrations as well as a plain edge, making it a combo edge knife. So we'll just work with that plain edge, see how sharp it is. It kind of struggles with paper, even though I realize paper is not a realistic, uh, a realistic test. There you go. It's, it's it's fairly sharp. I mean, that's not as realistic as it gets, but uh, like I said, the Kershaw Skyline is more sharp, in my opinion. All right, guys, I fumbled enough. I fumbled around enough with these three knives here. Um, I really enjoy that uh, Kershaw Skyline as well as the Delica, but the reason I don't like Spider Coats is I think they are very, very expensive for what you get. But I do recommend both of these. I uh, hope this helps someone that's uh, considering getting uh, either of these knives. If you guys got any questions about either one of these knives, either the Skyline or the Delica 4, please let me know, guys. We'll talk to you later.